Guys, I am going to show you what is in my medicine cabinet in my bathroom. That is right. This is literally how my medicine cabinet looks. Take a look. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, you're ready to see what's in my medicine cabinet? Here we go. This is how it looks. And by the way, I have not changed anything. I have not cleaned this up for you or anything. This is literally how it looks. Let's walk through it. Now let's start at the top, all right? Let's start at the top. Uh, we've got deodorant. By the way, I like this brand, Cert and Dry, because um, I feel like it really, really works well. I tend to get a lot of um, what we call hyperhidrosis, which is sweaty armpits. Um, Cert and Dry tends to work well for me. I do keep perfumes here, and actually, I probably should not keep makeup in my medicine cabinet because of the humidity, but I do, just being honest. This is literally how my medicine cabinet looks. Oral-B, um, super floss. So I have um, a retainer that's fixed on the inside of uh, my teeth to make sure my teeth stay straight. So I kind of need this super floss, like the super skinny to help um, for like the retainer that I have. Uh, it's a lot of information, but I'm just telling you what's in here. My favorite perfumes, love, love, love. And like I said, probably shouldn't keep the foundation here because of the humidity. It's probably best not to do that. Um, medication that I'm on. Oh, this, oh my God, love going to the dentist. Who does not, oops, love, they gave, the dentist gave me this toothpaste. I love getting samples, y'all. So this came from my dentist. Uh, also, you can see tons of floss, like literally floss everywhere. Y'all need to be, you need to be flossing your teeth if you're not. Um, obviously, I need to clean this back mirror too. Sorry about that. Um, mouthwash, super important. Also, Vaseline. Y'all know how much I love Vaseline. Okay, and uh, let's see here. What is, what, what is this? This is, oh, chi. I love my chi infusion stuff when I'm blow drying my hair. More foundation because you know me. And then y'all, uh, Neutrogena. Um, yes, yes, yes. So, so, so important. Some other cream I have over here. Oh, also because I get sweaty armpits dry cell. This is a prescription that I use to keep my armpits dry. Just told you, keeping it real. And then also, this is a pill cutter. Um, I use this for one of my videos that I did with y'all, so you probably recognize that. Nothing but realness here, so uh, let's go down to the third shelf. We've got uh, my retainer, I know. Ooh, eyelash glue, mm-hmm. Um, Purewell wipes, and then, oh, I like literally stockpile um, my MAC. Um, uh, eyebrow things because I just am always like paranoid about running out so I stockpile them. This is some L'Oreal cream that I use from uh, over the counter that I love. Uh, what else we got? Oil-free moisture um, that I use for my face because I have really oily skin but make sure see it's got an SPF so important. Another um, retainer case right? What is this? Oh, dab rocks. Yeah, this is for uh, earwax removal. My, my, my ears don't make a lot of wax, but I was using this for a video. But this is great to soften earwax if you have earwax that gets hard. And I, I did that for a video. And then um, a skin. I don't really use this. I bought this years ago. I probably should throw it out, actually. But this is um, uh, an astringent. But I don't really use astringent on my face, as you can see. Like, I've never used it. So, and I think that... Oh, my God. I think it's, like, green at the... Oh, my God. It's green at the top. Okay, we're throwing this out literally throwing this out now okay bye um yeah this could not be more real i didn't realize my astringent looked like that gross guys I, i'm gonna do a video on how long you should keep things by the way that is a good example of why things cannot and do not and should not last forever because they just don't like you're learning this in real time so am i hmm. This is my medicine cabinet. You pretty much saw everything that's in there. And then I also have this other side to my medicine cabinet. Um, who else does this? When I go to hotels, like, and when I get free samples, I save it all. You can't tell me nothing. Look, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. What, okay, this is from any, you send me to a fancy hotel, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the soap now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the soap. What else I got? Ooh, look at here, mouthwash. I got all sorts of pads, toothpaste, that must have been a free gift from somewhere, toothbrushes. I literally stockpile them, as you can see. So this is my medicine cabinet, y'all. This is what we are working with. So my question is, what's in your medicine cabinet? And I will do a video on what you really should keep in your medicine cabinet and what you shouldn't. This is not necessarily an example of the things you should have in your medicine cabinet, because there are probably some things I have in here that I shouldn't. 
just being honest with you, probably should not keep my foundations in here. There may be other things as well. Um, I will do a video on what you really should have, but I wanted to be transparent and show you like this is actually my real medicine cabinet. So um, let me know what you keep in your medicine cabinet. I'm Dr. Jane Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator, who is a real person with a real medicine cabinet that um, I'm throwing out this astringent right now um, on Facebook. If you've not liked and follow my page, please do. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff even my medicine cabinet on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, guys, check out my website, drjencardle.com uh, for my free health newsletter and all sorts of stuff. Subscribe, like, click, comment, share this video with other people you want, who you want to see <laughs> what's in my medicine cabinet. All right, guys, I love y'all. Bye.